Hello Internet, it's me, Hugh, with another D-Geek Diary for you, and it's Wednesday, so I'm going to remind you that Friday is Follow-Up Friday, and Follow-Up Friday I will be talking about reno nerds. So all of your comments about renovations and the processes and the materials that you love and hate, and the memories and the advice and the tips and the tricks and all that kind of stuff, everything you've commented about in the in, about the whole renovation process and my reno nerd and my my sudden uh, sort of uh, mutation into a reno nerd, uh, that will be addressed uh, on Friday. But I say Friday, it's actually probably going to be more like Thursday because I'll have to do something in advance because Friday I fly to Chicago for the Stargate convention that is happening there and that they are calling the, what are they calling him? The Final Journey. The Final Journey is the worst title you could possibly call a convention. That just is the most depressing sounding convention ever. I'm sure that it will be. We'll just stand on stage crying, holding hands, and singing like kumbaya and stuff, but, uh, or more likely just making idiots of ourselves, both on stage and possibly in restaurants and bars in the, in the, in the, you know, in the near vicinity. So that's basically what we were going to be doing this weekend. Um, and I will try to get that, uh, uh, that, uh, that follow up Friday happening for you. Well, probably Thursday. So anyways, um, what I'm going to talk about today is my new love, which is basically um, uh, molecular and cell biology, which I've started reading the dummy's guide to uh, cell and molecular biology. It is fascinating. Like, I gotta say, I love the dummy's guides books. Like, basically, whenever I want to learn something, even if I know a little bit about it, I will go and I will go onto Amazon. I will kindle the, um, uh, the, the dummy's guide of whatever it is that I want to learn about. And it's just a great foundation in whatever it is you want. Even if it's stuff you already know, it's kind of fun. They try to make it light and, and as much as they can. I mean, it's, it's difficult to make molecular and cell biology, you know, particularly amusing, but they're doing a very good job of it and I am enjoying it very much. And one of the sidebars that came up, which I thought was really interesting, was basically um, about the fact that when you're a smoker, um, you know the smoker's cough that smokers have in the morning? So that classic, sort of almost sort of stereotypical kind of thing that happens with smokers. Um, well, I have learned how that works. Because when you smoke a cigarette, the smoke comes into your lungs, and the cilia, the little sort of little, little sort of like tails that are attached to the cells there that are responsible for moving the mucus out of your lungs, basically the mucus is what catches all of the um, all the gross stuff that you shouldn't have in your lungs, like all the bits and pieces and, and bacteria or whatever it is, and things that shouldn't be in there. Uh, it, it gets stuck in the mucus, and then the cilia you just go, hey, get out of there, and they fling it out. Um, well, basically what happens is when you smoke a cigarette, you're paralyzing your cilia, um, which sounds silly in itself. Um, but uh, basically you paralyze that cilia so it can't do that anymore. So basically what happens is then you go to sleep, and because you're sleeping, you're not smoking, the, the cilia go, oh, man, and they start waking up. They go, they go, oh, my God, there's all this stuff in the lungs. i got to get moving. And they start flinging that stuff out of there because they're now no longer paralyzed. And then, of course, then you go and grab a cigarette and you kill them all over again. But point being is you're an idiot if you smoke. The second thing is that um, it's just fascinating, and it's kind of creeped me out that there are little tail things in my lungs. But more than just that, it's freaked me out that we're like, we're like, Nature is Frankenstein. Like we, this very structure of the human being made up of all these little like cells that have their own little agenda and sort of work together in unison to make us what we are is unbelievably incredible to me. Um, and then the subject is something that I never really got into. My, my dad was a doctor and I was always like, yeah, blood. And you know, I avoided that stuff entirely. And, and this I think is probably okay for me because it's beyond, it, blood now becomes little, little bubbly, cute little bubbly things. So it's, it's not as, as hideous to me. But just the, the fact that we are made up of this collection of cells and bacteria all sort of getting along and, 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 and working together in their own completely selfish little way uh, to create these sort of structures, these, these, uh, these giant lumbering things that are made up of all these little tiny cells that are all, that are all controlled by the same little, little processes, very simple processes that become such a complex entity. And I just kept, I kept thinking like we look at a Petri dish and then you could pull back to see us and pull back even further. Like we're like, we are, you know, we're like the cities we live in, these like structures with all these different little individual lives happening. And I just find that absolutely fascinating. And I would highly recommend that you read this stuff. And I got to say, as I say, if you want a good basis in anything, uh, just pick up those dummies guides. They're, they're great. Written by a bunch of different people, obviously the people who are specific to their, to their stuff. But for some reason they have, I don't know whether they're edited well or, or what the deal is, but they've, they, they always try to make it enjoyable. And I have certainly been enjoying it. There's either, I did not think I would be giggling to myself uh, while reading a molecular and cell biology book, and my wife thinks I'm a complete nerd for doing it. So, um, until we geek again, cheerio!